Come on, we've been waiting. Who's been waiting for this weekend to get here? Hurry the heck up. Let's go. Been waiting for this thing to get here. Y'all been messaging us. I can't wait for Turkey Day countdown. I've been getting messages. Countdown is this many days to Turkey Day. Seen you at games. Uh, been hanging out at the games. PA wasn't so good for you, but Little Rock Christian, we got that dumb. The BR Bible Studies, come on, Louisiana, where you at? Texarkana won, by the way. Texarkana got the dub, 140 out in Texarkana. So anyway, lots of fun, which Jason and I are going to be putting a schedule together for this spring uh, to come out. So if you want to try and message us to get us, uh, we're going to pick probably four or five more uh, cities to go to this spring. May go back to one, probably Texarkana, um, but uh, we'll just kind of see uh, where we go. But here's the deal. Guess what? Turkey Day is finally here. It is finally here, and this weekend it's going to be amazing. It's going to be so amazing, it's going to be lit. You will be gassed up. It will be bougie. Oh, yeah. Oh, you didn't know I knew that one. You didn't know. See, you, you're going to be shook. It's going to be dripping, and there is going to be no cap on this turkey day right here. You vibing what we're saying up here? That's all... I'm saying, oh, there was a lot of flex that went into that right there. Let's see, here's the thing. Tomorrow, we're going to hang out. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna be playing some volleyball, some basketball. I'm going to make some of you my Pulaski as you take an L out there. It, 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 you know what I'm saying? We're going to have a lot of fun tomorrow. And then carnival night. Did y'all get what Lynn said? We're going to be doing axe throwing. That's crazy. Now, here's the thing. Here's what we did not explain. This is a competition. You don't just, listen, you don't throw axes for fun. You throw axes to win. Okay? Whoever does it for fun is a loser. Okay? How do you spell fun? W-I-N. Period. That's how you spell it. That's it. Period. Come on. Getting excited. <laughs> Uh, but, but seriously, so we got prizes for you, fabulous prizes. We got gift certificate, like real, like we got like real. We, we have a gift certificate to Richard's Athletic Store. It's called Dick's, but that's what it's called. I just don't like that word. Uh, but uh, uh, yeah, it's awkward. We got Taco Bell. We got Chick-fil-A. Man, we got, we got real, I don't know what else gifts we got. We got some merch thrown in there, but we got real gifts. So. You can throw as many axes as you want to try and beat your own score, but we will be taking score, and we will be awarding prizes, and so it's going to be awesome. It is going to be, and then we have a massive bonfire. Did we say that? Yeah. Fire. fire. That, no, David Esther, you are not, you cannot be near the fire. David Esther is doing the Velcro bungee booth, okay? Uh, um, yeah, we've got a big fire. It's under tarp right now, so it didn't get wet. Then we'll have some fire pits. We're going to have, oh, it's going to, oh, my God. It's going to be so much fun. Uh, yeah, you, you guys are going to love it. Okay, so for our new ones, one more time, how many are new people? We had a lot of new hands. Come on, rookies, there we go. Come on, which, by the way, hey, so this is our third year now to have, it's not just a high school. This is a high school and college conference. So we, we don't want you here for this high school and college weekend. Or, or we don't want you just here during high school. We want you here all the way through college. So just letting y'all know, um, that's something that we are building uh, this up to be. But I, but I want to I tell you uh, uh, this, that we have a theme for Turkey Day. We have a theme for Turkey Day, just like we do for camp. And Turkey Day is like JCT meeting on steroids. Um, and, and so we have a theme that we want to give you. So I see that some of you are taking notes. You got your phones, whatever. You know, we want you to leave here. Obviously, you came here to connect. Obviously, you came here to have a lot of fun. But you also came here to be encouraged. You also came here to leave with something. So I want to, you know, like Lynn said, take some notes and, and get ready. Because here's the thing. Life is real. Life is real, and we need encouragement from time to time. You know what I'm saying? Life can be discouraging. Life can be difficult, and it can be going great one day, 
and then out of nowhere, it can literally like slap you in the face and not like the good kind of slaps, okay? Like it, life can be tough. And so this weekend, not only do we want to have a lot of fun, but we want you to leave here with something. Man, so many of you, when we're in JCT meeting, what you say about Brook Hill is, it, it is the most encouraging week of your life, right? And what this is, is Brook Hill in the middle of your year. And, and we want you to be encouraged this weekend. So let's jump into the, are you ready? Our theme, write this down, if you haven't figured it out already, is REACH. R-E-A-C-H. It is <laughs> REACH. And it comes from Philippians. If you want to turn in your Bibles to Philippians chapter 3, verse 12 and 14. This is going to be our theme verse for the weekend. This is the text that we're going to take our stuff from. But Philippians chapter 3, verses 12 through 14, and I'm going to read it as you're getting there, as you're highlighting it, as you're doing whatever. Um, but we're, we're going to get to it at every time. Philippians 3, 12, it says, Not that I have already attained or am already perfect. I'm not perfect. But I press on that I may lay hold of that for which Jesus Christ has laid hold of me. Brethren, I do not count myself to have apprehended, but one thing I do, forgetting those things that are behind me, I reach forward. Forgetting those things that are behind me, I reach forward to those things which are ahead. I press toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Jesus Christ. So that is our theme. We're going with this weekend. We're going to be talking about forgetting that thing is that behind you that you're not happy about forgetting that thing that is behind you that happened to you. Forgetting that thing that is behind you that frustrated you, that tried to take you out. And then what are we going to do? We're going to reach forward. This weekend is all about reach. It's not about reaching backward. This is about reaching forward. And that's what we want to challenge you in, encourage you in, leave with you this weekend. Because here's what we want you to know. Everybody's reaching for something. Aren't they? Everybody. Everybody's reaching for something. Even if you don't know that you're reaching, you're reaching. You're reaching subconsciously, automatically. You've got, you're going after something. You know, you, you, just, you just are. Even if you've never thought about it, even if you've never defined it, you're reaching for something. Now, what is reach? There's a dictionary definition here. Reach is to stretch out an arm in a specific direction in order to touch or grasp something. See, everybody is reaching for something. They are. Think about it. We reach for approval, right? Depending on your personality. People, we reach for approval. I reach for approval from my parents. I reach for approval from my friends. I reach for approval from my coach or my teacher. I want that my, you know, whatever. I'm reaching for approval. Some people, they live their life. Some people, they live their life for fun, okay? 24 hours a day, seven days a week. All I want to do is have fun. I hate sleep, right? Some of you are the kind tonight, it's going to be midnight, and you're going to be the ones that, we got to go to bed. But I was having so much fun. Like, sleep is in your way. You're mad. You're like, stupid. I pay her. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, and some of you are like, shut up, I'm going to bed, you know. We're not talking to you, okay? We're talking to the fun people in here. But you are. You're like, I just, when, when Jason said council ring, you're like, oh my God! Yeah! When he said, I, I want, who wants to lead Moses? You're like, I'll lead him! You, you are those people, okay? The people next to you don't like you, but you're fun. You are fun, and you love to have fun. Nothing wrong with that. Some of you, you're reaching for status, okay? You're reaching for status, how I look, right? Who, who's my candy on my arm, right? My man, my girl, okay? Whatever, status, Right? How many followers I have? Status. My status in the school. My status in my group. My stat. Right? It's about who I am in the eyes 
of other people, my image, my achievement. Some of you are into achievement. I got to achieve this. I got to get, I'm going to get a scholar. I'm going to get 500 scholarships. They're going to pay me the rest of my life. You know, you're achieving everything. Some of you are reaching for God. Some of you are reaching for God. Some of you are reaching for less. How can I do little? Come on, some of you in here. You are the, you are the captain corner cutter, okay? How can I cut the corner? How can I do as little as possible and still be alive on this earth, okay? You, you are those people. Your parents said, did you shower? And you were like, last week, you know? You know, I got to do that every day. You know, you, you like to cut corners. Did you study? I did last year, you know? I mean, you, you, you know who you are. You know who you are. You're the one that your boss is looking to fire at your job, you know? How can I do less? You know, you want to you wanna homeschool, not because you don't want to win the spelling bees, because you want to sleep all day. You know what I'm saying? Some of you are reaching for average, for blah. Some of us would, would rather other people reach for us. Just throwing that out there. Now, some of these things aren't bad. They just maybe need to be put in a different order. Here's the thing. The Bible is full of people that reached. When you think about the Bible, God used... The people, you know, Mary, God said, Mary, I want you to do this. You know what she did? She reached. She said, I'll do it. God, God gave Joseph a vision. And what did he do? He reached. See, God, God to Esther, put her in this spot and, and gave her an opportunity. And you know what she did when the opportunity came? She reached. This weekend, we want to challenge you to be someone who reaches on purpose. What are you reaching for? When you leave here this weekend, I want you to be sick of the word reach, and I want you focused on something that you are reaching for. What is it? What is it that you're reaching for? David reached, Deborah reached, Elijah reached, Ruth reached for Boaz. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Not much opportunity this weekend, girls. <laughs> They ain't many here, <laughs> so I had to tuck that one away for later. <laughs> uh, guys, it's a great weekend. I don't know what to tell you. But I want to look at one particular story here as we kick this off, and then I'm, and then I'm going to get out of your way. Let me. Are you re- are you ready for this? Are, 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 you, are you ready? It's easier to cook for people who are hungry. Are you, are you ready for this? Yeah. I thought there was 340 people here. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Turn to Luke chapter 8. Turn to Luke chapter 8. Now, just a couple minutes and we'll get out of your way. Luke chapter 8. I want to look at a girl who reached. I want to look at a girl who reached in Luke chapter 8, verse 43. In this moment, Jesus was going from one place to another, and Jesus was amazing. He was a very popular guy. His status was high, and and crowds were following him wherever he was going, and this is one of those moments where Jesus was trying to get from point A to point B. This dude was like, come to my house. My kid is sick. My kid is dying, and and just everybody is trying. Jesus, come to my house. Jesus, and he's walking, and things are happening, and here he is in Luke chapter 8, verse 43, and there was this girl, verse 43. And a woman having an issue of blood 12 years, which had spent all her living upon physicians, neither could be healed of any, came behind him. She came up behind Jesus, and what did she do? She reached. She came up behind Jesus, and she touched the border of his garment. Think about it. How did she do that? There was only one way she could do that. She reached her hand out, right? She reached. And it says immediately her issue stopped. How did her issue stop? Because what did she do? She reached for Jesus. She had an issue. And she reached for Jesus and it stopped. And what did he say? Who touched me? 
Who reached for me? Everyone denied it. I didn't, dude, I didn't touch you, man. No lawsuit, man. Everyone denied it. Peter said, Master, dude, the whole crowd is, is around you, bro. How are we supposed to know who's touching you? Am I the son of God? No. But Jesus said, someone deliberately touched me for I felt healing power go out from me. See, when you reach for Jesus, life can change for you. When this woman realized that she could not stay hidden, she began to tremble, fell to her knees in front of him. The whole crowd heard her explain why she had touched him and she had immediately been healed. And he said, daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace. Here's the thing. This girl had had issues for 12 years. That's a long time to have issues. She had had issues for 12 years. Listen, we all have issues. That is life, right? We all have issues. That is life. In fact, look at the person next to you and say, I got issues. <laughs> Some of you are like, what's this turkey day all about? <laughs> I don't want to be this open. <laughs> Come on, look at the do it one more time. Look at the person next to you and say, I got issues. <laughs> and then I want you to tell them, but you got it, but you got them too, and one of them is how bad I need you. <laughs> that was pretty good. Thank you. Thank you. There's one for me. Listen, that's a song. <laughs> maybe, maybe your life is perfect. Maybe you came here this weekend and your life is perfect, right? That's you. You're, you're Mr. Perfect. You're Miss Perfect, or at least you play it on the outside. And you don't want anybody to know it on the inside, but on the inside, you got issues. And see, that's what we do. We look at other people, and you know what we see or what we think we see? Because it's the only thing that they will show us is perfection. We do. That's what they show you on Insta. That's what they show you when they walk through school. That's what they show you when they go to church. That's what they show you when they come to camp. I am Perfect, but here's the thing the part that we can't see is broken The part that we can't see is hurting the part that we can't see is scared The part that we can't see is frustrated the part that we can't see is angry The part that we can't see is done It's quitting And it stopped reaching and this weekend we want to talk about those things. We want to deal because until you deal, your reach has been stopped. We got to deal with those things. The parts of you that are bored, the parts of you that see no reason to keep going. See, that's the part we want to look at the, this weekend. The part that isn't perfect. The part that nobody else sees, but you know, you hear in your mind, you see it in the mirror. The part that you hate about yourself. And maybe it's been 12 years for you. Maybe it's been four years for you. Maybe it's been two years for you. I don't know what it's been, but this weekend is going to be awesome. This weekend is going to be awesome. Because we want to look at those things. That are there that all you need to do is reach and see them healed. see she was reaching for her healing because she had had enough she was desperate she had tried everything remember it said she had tried doctors she had tried all these things and she thought what the heck I'll try Jesus and when she reached for Jesus it was different she was tired of where she was at sometimes the bottom is what you have to hit to be done here's what I want you to know write this down Write this down. When you learn how important your reach is, your life will change. I'm not talking about Lindley's reach. 
I'm not talking about Jason's reach. I'm not talking about Brook Hill's reach. I'm not talking about your parents' reach. But when you discover how important it is for you to reach for Jesus, when you, for yourself, then it don't matter what your parents do or don't do. Then it don't matter what your friends do or don't do. It don't matter that relationship you're in. You can love it. You can have it. You cannot have it. He can, he can come into your He can leave your life, whatever. Bye, hi. I don't need you because I've got my own reach. See, when you learn who you are in Christ, everything changes. You, they, those friends can come. Those friends can go. Those, those friends can love you, not love you. Be mad at you, not be mad at you. You don't care because you got your own reach and they're not your reach. You don't need them for your reach. Because when you learn how to reach, your life will change. Your reach is everything. I want to ask you, what are you reaching for? What are you reaching for? Because you will get, you will get what you reach for. I know that sounds funny, but it's very true. You will get what you reach for. That, that's just, you know, you go to reach for a Dr. Pepper. Guess what? You get a Dr. Pepper. I mean, that's just how it works. You will get what you reach for. So is that a good thing in your life? What's that thing that you're reaching for so hardcore in your life? What happens if you can't get it? Because see, with Jesus, when you reach for him, you get him every time. He's always there. Let me ask you this. Think about this or write it down either way. What's the most important thing to you right now? Think about that. What's the most important thing to you right now? That's your reach. What's the most important? What's that thing you spend your time doing? That's your reach. And we can have multiple reaches. We just got to make sure we put them in the right order. You know what I'm saying? As long as it's not like immoral, <laughs> illegal. <laughs> But what you reach for, you will get. Will it be worth it when you have it? Man, I have to feel good. Whatever it takes to erase the feeling that is killing me, I have to feel alive. Okay, what are you reaching for for that? And is it going to be good if you get it? I have to feel loved. I will settle for whoever will do that for me. It doesn't matter if, if, if I'm more worth it than this person. I have to feel loved. So I'm reaching for that. And what is it going to take? What lines are you going to cross? What sacrifices are you going to make to have that? And is that really what you need? I mean, I would think a lot of you in here are reaching for Jesus. And I would say most of you in here are reaching for Jesus because you probably wouldn't be here if you weren't. It'd be kind of weird. But could you reach for him a little more? I, I would think most of you, you know what Brook Hill is about. It's about Jesus. You know what I'm saying? And so you're here because you're reaching for him. But could your reach be a little higher? Could your focus be a little readjusted? You know, do you just a, just a little bit? See, everybody reaches for something. And you know what? Sometimes when life gets so, so crazy, some of you in here have been so desperate, you reach for escape. Because escape is better than reality. What is your escape? Some people reach for quitting. They reach for drama. They reach for jealousy. They reach to be the best. Listen, reach is natural. She was hurting and she reached for Jesus. Here's the thing. This entire Turkey Day is all about the focus of our reach. I don't know if you've figured that out yet. So here's the thing. Could yours be higher? This weekend, do we need to make a change? Or do we just need to continue what we're doing just a little more consistent? Man, I just need to be a little more consistent. Maybe this weekend is the encouragement that you needed because you were reaching. You were reaching in a great direction, but you just got discouraged. Something knocked you off your course. Maybe this weekend is about just getting that encouragement that you need. Maybe this weekend is the rest that you need because you were tired of reaching. You were tired of moving in that right direction. Maybe this weekend is going to save your life. Maybe there's somebody in here that suicide has been a real thing in your mind. But you loved Brook Hill so much that you were like, I got to go to Turkey Day. Turkey Day, yeah. But in your mind, you're seriously thinking about suicide. What if this weekend is about getting your life back? 
that would be worth it for me. Come on, this weekend is about your reach. I don't know what it's going to be for you, but I'm excited about this weekend. Are you ready for this turkey day? Amen.